Hi, this is Jenk from Electron and uh, yeah, I wanted to show you a bit of tips and tricks of model samples and basically uh, how I use it. So let's see. So I made like a little basic pattern and I really like to record these uh, paths real time in the sequencer out of quantize. And my timing is bad, but then you know you can make it nicer. So let's have a look at that now. So I'm going to activate real time record. Yeah, that one is a bit off. So you can like change it quickly with the nudge function. If that is your thing, or maybe maybe nudge it really hard. There you go, that's nice. And what I really like doing is on the snare, I would like to put like a four tricks like this here. And then maybe add some retrig to it. And then just turn it on. Yeah. And of course you don't want to come every loop. So then I can, with the chance knob, I can assign, let's say, three out of three. And they, will, they won't always come, you see? They don't play now. This is something that I really dig. And uh, of course, pitching the bass lines is really, really cool. Like, for example, let's try this. Yeah, okay, that was in the right place. Yeah, so now I have a good step here. But then I want to apply 25% chance of triggering this. So this is the kind of way that I actually use electron sequencers. I find a way, find a place that it sounds good, for example, like this. Yeah, it's okay, let's do the short decay. And maybe a, let's see, a bit more. Yeah, a bit more. And of course, apply some chance. I really dig the chance feature. It's the, one of the best things ever happened, I think. Same with the snare. You can add some more snare hits in here. Yeah, Hugo, that was very nice. And of course, I don't want to come all the time. And uh, yeah, let's change the picture of that a bit. And so now I could save the pattern. And it's another thing that I really like doing is like putting a lot of hi hats. It's too much, of course. Let's uh, put the decay down. I, I really like to assign LFOs to the decay of the hi hats, for example. Like, and I mess around with the timing of it. Maybe, yeah, let's uh, go to the... Okay. So then, yeah, let's uh, let's change the LFO speed. Uh, not, not this LFO, it's uh, this one here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this has a great value, I think, into the beat. Yeah, it makes it much more lively, I think. And of course, apply some different uh, parameter locks to it. Uh, maybe some retrigs here. Yeah, and that's pretty much my tracks done. And uh, let's save the pattern. And of course, what's really cool is the track all function. I love it, like reversing everything. And I'm pulling back the sample end, so that's, yeah. And a bit of like looping as well. Uh, if you pitch it up, it's gonna be funky. Stuff and then, yeah, this is some really serious power in a little box like this, I reckon. Another thing I really like doing is distorting the hell out of it. I lower the volume of all the tracks and then, yeah, this is so sweet when you do it like this. And maybe use a filter on everything. This is a really neat feature also and of course, Uh, this is a really hands-on type of style. Another thing that I really dig about it is, finally, on a new Electron box, after Octa Track, you can have per scale, uh, scale per track. I've been missing this so much. It's kind of been a botherance. Uh, Octa Track had this. Model Samples has it. And uh, yeah, uh, and then let's have a look at the scale change. So I'm gonna maybe, for the hi-hats, I'm gonna make them really fast. For the kick, I'm gonna make it like half the speed. For snare, let's make it double time. For this 
uh, thing here. Let's make it 3-4 and also for the pad, 3-2. So all of them are kind of running at a different multiplier of the BPM now. And the result, I have no idea if it's going to sound good or good. It's kind of like a chance method. I love this. Hey, hey. We need to change it a bit. Let's have a look. Go to the hi-hat and make it slower. Yeah, here we go. This is really messed up now. Let's go to the kick track and make it faster. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that's really cool. And finally, before I say bye, the, the chance function is a really good addition to our sequencer also. Just like the scale per track, uh, the chance function is really good on this unit. Basically what it does is that it decreases the chance of a trick being triggered. Let's go to the hi-hat track that we blasted it out like this and I'm going to mute the tracks. Only this is playing. So I drop the chance and see what is going on. All the tricks have got 58% of chance triggering. But what happens if I apply it to the, all of the tracks? Well, let's hear. Oh, sorry, what's this one? Here we go. Ah, this is so, so interesting stuff like this. Very nice, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lou Pop, for coming to our booth at NAM19. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank